This is Grandmaster Boris Alterman and you're watching Gambit Guy. Hello and welcome to the new series of lecture about the Vinaver Gambit variation in semi-slav defense. So usually we are working lately on E4 lines from white and from black side following the main ideas of the Gambit Guide is fast developing fight over the center squares and quite interesting Gambit line was discovered more than 100 years ago by Polish quite famous Polish-Russian chess player Shimon Vinaver who played for the first time this variation after c4, c6 and knight c3 e7, e5 so very sharp aggressive gambit line so in which black is ready to sacrifice the pawn on e5 in order just to destroy white's normal development and after in case of d takes e5 just to answer d4 just fighting for initiative so when white's knight on c3 is under threat and black is ready to play in many different situations very actively bishop b4, queen a5, c5 and knight c6 trying to keep the strong pawn on d4 so the first and most important game of course was played in 1901 between the Frank Marshall and Shimon Vinaver in Monte Carlo tournament so when for the first time this idea was played but of course I would like just to show you just how we got it D5 is a classical response on D4 when black is taken control over the E4 square just not allowing white to reach the strong center control now in case of C4 so once again we study the aggressive Albin's control gambit with E7, E5 also Shara gambit here in case of E6 Knight C3 C5 C takes D5 and C takes D4 and finally after D4, D5, C4 so of course black is not capturing which leads to the queen's gambit accepted variation plays c6 this is one of the most interesting and quite modern ways of play of defense for black side after d4 so the semi-slav defense today one of the most popular defense so which leads to the very interesting complications so what has two mostly two main continuation knight c3 on knight f3 so what's the big difference so after c4 white tried to increase the pressure over the whites over the center and by playing knight c3 so white is not only increasing once again the pressure over the d5 but also takes more control over the e4 square so let's say if black is not counter-attacking here with knight f6 